Hey guys, I'm Shrikma and welcome back to my channel. And guys, today on the 28th of April, my channel has officially completed two years. So I just wanted to sit down with you guys and share with you guys my entire story of how I started my YouTube channel. This is the second episode of my makeup story times. The first episode was how my first YouTube got cancelled. So I'm gonna link that in my bottom bar. In this series, I tell you guys about some bizarre and crazy stories of my life while doing my makeup. So it's basically a get ready with me in a chit chat version. So if you're interested in knowing how I opened my own YouTube channel and how I am doing it, then let's dive into this video. All the products that I'm going to be using will be mentioned down in the bottom bar, so make sure you check out my description box. So starting off with my story, I I don't know like since 2016 or 17, this YouTube was like a thing, okay, and everyone was watching YouTube and even I was watching, I would watch like all several genres, like be it makeup, comedy and lifestyle and everything. I was very intrigued by it. Now I have a friend called Eshwarya and she was also into all this just like me and we would actually make videos and send it to each other just like as a you know trial run sort of thing and we would make you know beauty videos. I remember I used to do small hauls and click videos and edit them and send it to her and then she would make videos on you know like uh, cooking videos and then she would uh, declutter her stuff. So she would do that and she would send it to me and I think that a big part of my YouTube channel is actually responsible for her like if she wouldn't have pushed me or even if like we wouldn't have done that thing. I don't think I would have ever thought of starting my YouTube channel ever. So that was that. We would do that in class 8 and 9. And again in 9 I opened my YouTube channel and there was this entire thing. So that's that. And um, after 9, 10 went away. I gave my board exams and I was very chill. And you know when I was in 10, I was very determined. Okay, once I finish my boards and once I finish my class 10, I will do this. Like I knew it. So after my 10 boards were over and everything, my dad bought me my first ever tripod. And this is the tripod which I still use now. So after that I was even more determined ki now I have to do it. So one fine day I just sat and I just made this DIY video and I remember I was so petrified before posting it. I sent that video via WhatsApp to at least I guess 10 people asking for validation ki see should I post it. Yeah, I was so held nervous. After that I finally posted it and then that was that I was appreciated like the video was appreciated and uh, one of my friends she said yeah this is way better than the first video which I did ever. And uh, so I was very happy and that video was quite well received and after that I started making videos. So my uh, channel was doing quite decently. So before the new year 2020, I hit 200 subscribers and I remember I was very happy about it. So that was that and then after that the lockdown happened, the corona pandemic, everything happened. So I was like pretty chill, ki, yeah, fine, ki, ke, dek lege, kya hoga. but I think that kind of took a really big toll on me. I will say that I was feeling so aimless, like uh, I can't even. I was feeling very very aimless and um, I remember I was putting up videos and it was not getting views and that was a phase wherein I think I was very anxious, you know not even depressed, I was very anxious and um, I used to think hey, where am I going wrong and I would see so many people maybe of my same age or something else like they are just starting off maybe something like that and they are getting like skyrocketing views and likes and I would think, I, was, I would penalize myself basically like am I so shitty and stupid that whatever I'm putting up is not enough and I would see that and I would feel really bad about myself and that was like 2-3 months I was really just feeling so terrible about myself and you all know that because um, I think from April or to June or something like that last year I uploaded zero videos like for two months I had no videos on my channel whatsoever so that was that and my friends started noticing it ki you're not uploading anything like uh, Sampurna, Diya and Mahashweta they were like why aren't you uploading anything and I just kept creeping to them like I'm not getting views what is the point I'm just not good enough I'm gonna quit and I was mentally prepared that I'm gonna quit after this and they were like no 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 you should you're doing this it has made you so much more confident and all that so they tried to you know kind of boost up my confidence like that so finally after a lot of thinking and all that I decided Ki, yeah, I'm gonna come back at it so I uploaded three videos I remember throughout the next two months more I uploaded only three videos and they did quite decently okay after that I was like yeah fine now I'm gonna go get back I'm gonna I'm not gonna let this get in my head and I'm going to be doing my puja vlog series and uh, I already did that last year and I was like yeah might as well continue this year so I started doing the second season of puja vlogs and uh, I was really happy with my series this time and this is something about me if I'm very content with whatever I'm putting it up I don't care about the views or anything because if I'm really happy with whatever I'm putting it doesn't bother me so I was really happy with each and every video of my puja vlogs and I would literally film every day and I would just get it done like you know shoot edit upload like that was my schedule throughout those 10 days and I was really happy with all of my videos for puja vlogs after that I even did a few Diwali videos and all that 
and after that in december i thought of doing a vlogmas but then a lot of shit happened in my life and uh, again i stopped for a long time for at least more than half a month i had planned videos for new years and everything for more than half a month i was just not able to get my head right and finally i was like no you know i have to get better i can't just keep sulking all day and i just got up and i was like fine i'll film so that's when i uploaded my first ever makeup story time video after that i started planning my birthday series and that birthday series was also very impromptu like a very random decision my exams were coming and i just wanted to do something special for my birthday and uh, so i did that and then my exams were postponed so shit whatever i did my birthday series which was again a very subpar series not much news but again hey i'm not complaining and i think right now i'm at a much better place and uh, um it it doesn't affect me as much as it would before but yeah it does affect me a lot when i see that i'm putting in so much effort and still there are not much views but uh, it is what it is um yes so that was my youtube journey and uh, i will still say there are a lot of people who judge me for doing what i am because i am just 17 years old and putting myself out there on the internet is still not very accepted by people i have literally have had middle aged aunties calling me out like you shouldn't wear much makeup like aunty ji mind your own business now not everyone supports me that's that but i have had full full on support from my friends and my sister my sister she just supports me unconditionally my sister has always been there for me and my best friend dia adhikari she has also supported me a lot since day one and she always keeps you know boosting my moral confidence and like she gives me a lot of moral support and she has actually helped me out a lot like she is the best editor i ever know like the best the baddest the bestest editor i ever know and she has made at least 20 thumbnails for my channel like if i have 75 videos out of that at least 20 thumbnails are made by her and she makes just um, the most the most amazing thumbnails for me i think thumbnails are also a very big part why your channel works and she has made just so many amazing thumbnails for me i cannot even now i can't give enough credit to my parents it is because of them that i am what i am and uh, every time like i ask them for the wrongest demands like buy me this this makeup has launched buy me this makeup they're not supposed to do that for me but they do that they support me unconditionally and i just can't thank them enough for doing that so definitely my parents are my biggest support systems they still are not very familiar with the concept of whatever i'm doing but they support me no matter what so guys that was my story of how i started my own youtube channel and how i'm still continuing it i still plan to continue it in the future it's my hobby and my passion and i want to continue it for a long long time and guys if you're interested in watching my first ever youtube video i actually found it so do let me know in the comments i can do a reaction video to that and uh, i cannot still believe that it's been 2 years when i first started my youtube channel so that's crazy it's all possible because of you guys and uh, that's it if you like this video you know the drill like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll meet you in my next one which is going to be a fun video and guys we are super close to 400 subscribers please subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and till then stay home stay safe and i love you guys a lot bye